speed shopping. Nacho Libre vibes. Simon rudely pointed out, I look so miserable. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I do believe this is vlog number 34, holy moly, 34 we're on. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Starting another week, it's currently Monday, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I am dressed, ready to go, and today I am off shopping. <laughs> What a surprise! Do I ever do anything else? Yes, I do. But because we are off on Friday on our trip, on our Disney cruise, there are some bits that I need to get. And because we found out about this trip super last minute, we had about two and a half weeks notice. Um, and obviously since then, I think I mentioned in last week's vlog, we've had to do record lots of videos in advance so that you guys have got content while we're away. Um, and I just haven't had time to even start getting stuff together for packing or making sure I've got everything I need for like a warmer country. So I've got lots of like the boring stuff to buy, like sun cream, toiletries. Um, I don't really feel like I have any swimwear, so I'm going to have a look at some swimwear um, and just have a general look around to see if I can find some like new items for holiday. So this is what I am wearing this morning. I have, oh I look so miserable don't I, I look so winter. So I've got my big oversized Bimber and Lola coat on and that is because it is the only coat where I can fit these ginormous sweater sleeves. So that's underneath is my and other stories kind of brown chestnutty colour, uh, big chunky jumper sweater thing, uh, Topshop Joni jeans which were 34 inches in length. I shrunk them by putting them, hello darling, I shrunk them by putting them in the tumble dryer. Um, I've got my Chloe Susanna boots on and what else? I've tied my hair back because it is greasy AF and grim. I've got Judith over there in the background uh usual earrings i'll link them below in the description box but i won't waffle through them because i think you guys have heard that enough and yeah that's that's it so yeah i'm gonna take you guys with me to come and have a look around the shops and do a spot of holiday shopping and then the rest of this week is busy so we've got lots to do let's go <laughs> Right, I'm starting off in the rather minuscule fitting rooms of Mango. I've got a few pieces here to try on. Let's get started. while the music is having a break. I'm trying on a mustard jacket, which I'm not sure that I need because I have the one from Topshop last year, but I've tried it on with these dark blue jeans with this really cool button detail and like contrast stitching and this t-shirt which I already have at home. Blue and mustard, winning combo. I have a comeback to Topshop. I know I was only there last week, but they've got new stuff in and they've got lots of linen. Linen is my, oh, hello. Linen is my favorite thing in life come spring and summer. So, I've got a couple of camis here, really nice blazer, and a pair of light wash jeans, which I actually wanted to pick up last time I was here. They're the straight cut, which are my faves from Topshop, and they have frayed unfinished hem. Now these aren't the usual length that I would go for, these are only a 32, I'd normally go for a 34, but I'm going to give them a go because they are the colour that I want. Right, first combo is on, so I've tried on one of the little linen uh, camis, which is really cute, it's got these little buttons up the front in like a tortoise shell. It's really nice, really lightweight, one thing to note is that it doesn't have adjustable straps, so if you've got bigger boobs, or even smaller boobs, that can sometimes be a bit of a problem. Um, but it's really, really nice, nice and lightweight, it's a nice colour, it's like an off 
white creamy color and I have it on with the Topshop straight leg jeans with the unfinished hem down there as well. And these are the really, really light bleach wash, which I'm not really sure if you guys can see in the mirror because the light is a bit funny in here, but yes, I love them. And actually, I think for like the cruise, for holiday, for Disney World, all that kind of stuff, actually think and for summer in general this length is kind of cool it's like a crop length because the other size of me the 34 length would be right down to the bottom of my ankles so yeah I think these are kind of like a nice summer alternative and if we really wanted to linen ourselves up to the max I've layered over this kind of blush pink linen blazer now I don't know if you guys will agree with me on this but I feel like this cute little linen cami looks really nice underneath but I feel like it's too many buttons like buttons here buttons here so I think I would prefer a plain cami underneath or even like a basic white t-shirt but I love the blazer again really nice and lightweight because it's linen color is really really nice I think it looks good with the bleach wash jeans. This is kind of like the spring summer updated version of my kind of staple uniform wardrobe that you guys see me in time and time again. <laughs> And this is the kind of seafoam jade green cami. I've actually taken my hideous granny bra off. Look at it, <laughs> strewn down there. Um, yes, yeah, so taken that off just so that we can kind of see how it looks without a bra. I would always wear it without a bra if I'm being honest with you, but I have absolutely zero tits, so that's why. But I think it's a really, really nice color. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to move my arms too much because I haven't shaved under my armpits. And, yeah it's not pretty under there now i'm just gonna untuck it so you guys can see how long these are because they're not cropped which i love because top shop always do this thing where they crop everything and i'm like stop it i'm 32 i can't have cropped stuff so it does actually come down to a reasonable length which i'm enjoying very much but of course i would probably tuck it in because these jeans are quite high-waisted also this is what happens when you've tried everything else on but you forget to try on the swimsuit fetching yeah it's kind of got like nacho libre vibes okay guys i've moved on to h&m now and i actually spotted this suit online the other day and i was like why was that not in the showroom when i went in i literally fell in love with it so tried it on today in store and this is this is the casual vibes that we're going for it's kind of like oversized 80s men's suit worn with like a basic t-shirt love it so size wise this jacket's actually a size 8 it's cut very very oversized it really really does come up quite big so I would suggest to size down because I would normally go for a size 10 in blazers especially in H&M because their sizing comes up small but I've just tried the size 10 and it is ginormous like so oversized it's not flattering in any way shape or form so this is the size 8 this is how it fits nice and slouchy the trousers on the other hand I have sized up to a size 10 because I like the way that they fit a little bit more relaxed you could wear this with something like a pair of sneakers, like some white trainers, maybe even some like slides. I just like it. I think it's so 80s. I'm all about the 80s vibes. Sorry guys, the light is really playing up in this fitting room, but I think I've got a better light there to show you guys what this looks like. Sorry about the bare feet. So the trousers have this pleating detail up the top here. Really nice, deep, slouchy pockets. Yeah, I feel like some sort of like 80s detective in Miami NCIS or whatever that program is called. And then this is how you could wear the blazer on its own, just with like a basic tee and a pair of black skinnies. Got my Susannas on still. I think that looks awesome. Like I would so wear this on a daily basis. Absolutely love it. This blazer is so well made. So well made. Well done H&M Trend. Right, on to my next place. Look at how determined I am not to have a plastic bag. I tried to fit it all <laughs> in this carrier bag, which FYI is made of paper. So fingers crossed it doesn't completely disintegrate. 
on to the next. Okay guys, so these are the and other stories version of the Acne Jensen boots. Look, they're almost identical. They just don't have that little metal bit on the toe. And I've tried these ones on already, but I'm just gonna try these on. <gasps> How amazing the tan suede, so nice. And look at that price, <laughs> so much cheaper than acne, like a quarter of the price. Okay, so I'm in and other stories now, and I haven't actually picked that much on. I've literally just picked this jumper to try on because I got quite a huge order from and other stories last week, which I haven't shown you guys yet. So I figured I would just take it a bit easy in here, but I did spot. I don't know if you can see the colour, it's not very accurate, it doesn't look that colour like it's coming up on screen, but it is like a gorgeous coral pink, um, a jumper, it's a really really nice jumper, it's not itchy, it's not scratchy, it's really nice and soft, uh, like a deep deep rib with this kind of almost bat wing style, and I just never try anything on this colour, so I thought, you know what, let's give it a go. I quite like it, but I'm not sure, not sure if I'm brave enough to pull this off. <laughs> back home and the weather is rank look at my hair i've been like drizzled on it's grim i mean my hair was grim already this morning i'm gonna go hop in the shower warm up freshen up take off my makeup and stuff get refreshed um but i had a productive day did some speed shopping because i only got into london at about 12 because uh, my train was like delayed, then I had to get on something else, and then the DLR wasn't working. It was all a bit of a faff. Um, so a 25 minute journey took me about two hours, which is very annoying, but never mind. Um, and then I left at about half three, so that was three and a half hours worth of shopping, speed shopping. Um, but I did quite well, I think. I have my wares down there. And I will show you guys exactly what I picked up in my end of the month, or rather start of the month haul. Uh, but obviously you guys can keep an eye open on Instagram, because um, I'll probably be wearing a lot of the stuff, because that's what I went shopping for, for our cruise. Uh, so yeah, right, I'm going to hop in the shower because it is muchos needed. What are you doing here then? <laughs> Getting all my stuff together. Yeah, literally all your stuff. No. All right, just a little bit. You know how this works. I don't pack like a normal person. You've got work to do. Because you're not a normal person. No. But I'll leave you to do your packing. You can do all that. Okay. Have fun times on your own. But just for everyone that doesn't know, we're going to the Bahamas. So what should we pack? Loads of knitwear. It's going to be cold, snowing apparently. You know, I can't go into a restaurant if it's air-conned without a jumper and jeans. I will freeze to death. What happens every time we go into Buffalo Wild Wings? I'm so cold. Knitwear for the Bahamas. You don't know. Right, I've just had my dinner, which Simon kindly made me before he left to go out. He's gone off watching uh, Jeff Bridges in Soho somewhere. So he's not going to be back until past midnight now. So I am left with all of this to do. Um, and basically what I do before I start packing is I get everything out on the bed, like Simon showed you guys earlier on. And then I try on loads of different outfits. So I kind of put outfits together in my head, try them on and then take mirror selfies. So I end up with loads and loads of mirror selfies of outfits. Um, and yeah, basically that provides me with outfits that are already put together, they'll be on my phone, and then when we get to whatever destination country we ever visit, when I'm there I already know which outfits I can wear and I can just flick through my phone and it saves me kind of having, like if you ever have a mental blank and you're like, oh crap, I don't know what to wear that kind of solves that issue because sometimes when you're abroad and you're in like a different country out of your comfort zone it can mess with your mind or it does with me anyway and sometimes i lose all creative focus and i just get distracted by you know things like mickey mouse so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to just try loads of stuff on get loads of outfits together bank a load of mirror selfies so that i've got them as my outfits and then I'm going to start packing. But this is all the stuff that I've got out so far. So over here, I've got three blazers there to take. I have got some dresses and that is a Realization Par Top. 
I've got a few realization par dresses on there. Nice little white dress with some buttons from LPA. Um, and then what else have we got? So yeah, Simon rudely pointed out, I do have quite a lot of knitwear, but I do get cold even in super hot countries. I've got a few pairs of jeans, got some kind of chinoy trousers, so many t-shirts. I literally live in t-shirts. Got some camis as well here, couple of denim skirts. So far I've just got one pair of PJs and an eye mask. These are like such a gorgeous colour. Um, but I need to get maybe another one or two pairs of PJs. Some accessories over here. Sandy who's coming with us. Uh, another little basket bag and some net bags. One hat. Uh, and then what have we got up here? This is my shirts. So I've got a few shirts, a few linen ones and then some nicer ones I think tucked under there as well and then oh shoes oh my gosh I need to show you these shoes okay so you might remember last summer I bought these Hermes sandals well June have just come out with these these are actually going to be in my uh, next haul video so this is a bit of a spoiler alert but I have a feeling these are going to sell out so quickly they're such a good dupe for the Hermes sandals and they do also come in tan so I'm going to take those with me I've also got these gorgeous like rust satin sandals these ones here as well from Ray they're kind of like a natural oh what's that on my oh I've got injuries um they're like a natural kind of canvasy fabric those are really nice a pair of trainers of course for mooching around Disneyland and then up here about 12 pairs of sunglasses because you know you can never have too many are we in focus Hello, hello, sorry, <laughs> hi. Um, right, I'm just doing all my skincare and stuff but I thought I'd just have a quick catch up with you guys because it's now, I think about half 11, which for me is <gasps> so late. I always go to bed at 10 o'clock and by 10 o'clock I'm like <sighs> um, But tonight I have had a Diet Coke at about eight o'clock so now I'm just like <clears throat> totally buzzing. <laughs> That was weird. Good morning everyone, it's Wednesday. Look, this is what I was telling you guys about last night. Just all my packing dumped on top of the suitcase. Um, because I'm about to head off to Cornwall to drive the babies to my mum's. Uh, I just need to book a nail appointment for... When is it? For Thursday, the day before we fly. Because um, these are looking hideous and as are my feet. So I need to book that now and then I'm going to head off on the motorway for like six hours. Woohoo! We're on the road, on the road again. And my mum has texted me to say that I have got a Cornish pasty waiting at me at the other end. <gasps> yes! Simon's going to be so jealous. Um, before I got the M25 though, I had a slight heart attack because I pulled up at some traffic lights and I had a look in the back just to check on the babies to make sure they were okay. And I could only see, <laughs> I could only see four. Bo had hidden herself under a blanket, so I almost crapped in my pants because I thought I'd lost one of the fur babies after about 10 minutes worth of driving. <sighs> Success. Well, I made it. I made it alive. I did it in just over four and a half hours, so that's not bad. Uh, so these guys are tucking into their food for the day. Where's Bean? Bean's over there having his. And my food is in here. I have got, oh, if you can see in there, a pasty heating up. Woo! These are the only thing I miss about living in Cornwall. Best pasties ever. Wow, somebody's happy to see Grandma! <laughs> it's Grandma home from work! <laughs> Get her, Bella! Get her! <laughs> 
Glitter nails are available in a variety of shades and are one of the hottest trends for 2018. Do you like this look? Yes. <laughs> are you having fun with your Alexa? Yeah, she won't leave me alone now. <laughs> That's because you've made two good of friends with her. <laughs> this is a nice onesie. I know. This I is the special onesie that you wear in all of my vlogs. I know, it's my favourite, so cosy. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been out for dinner tonight. We both had a burger. You don't have to hide there. Look at her, hiding. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was extra, wasn't it? Yes. yes. So yeah, we've been out for dinner. I'm just chilling with my babies because I'm not going to see them for two weeks. Do you remember when we went to Disney World? Yeah. What, what was your favourite bit? Ooh. What was your favourite memory? Oh, just seeing your face and your face when you gave your little book to the characters to sign. To get the autographs. <clears throat> to get the autographs, yeah. Your face when you see the castle. The first time we went and adults paid, your children ate free. Okay, Mum, we have to make this a brief story. So you've just got to okay. give the highlights. So the highlights is <laughs> the lady who was serving us met Emma and Pinky. Two years later, we like Ponderosa back again and the lady remembered Pinky and Emma. That's it. Yeah, so I'm going to take Pinky again. The Ponderosa, guys, by the way, is like a restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, fast food. Yeah, fast food restaurant, obviously, because this is me we're talking about. And I'm going to take Pinky again. So what is it, some 20-odd years later? Oh, it's got to... Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and see if she remembers me, see if she's even still there. So I've just been doing the rounds and saying goodbye to all the babies, but there's one who I think is still here. Oh, hello Bean. Oh, are you snuggling up with this little duck? That's nice. You're going to give mummy a nice kiss and cuddle. You want to go back to bed, don't you? Oh, that's a big stretch. Good morning, sunshine. Hello. That's it. Come give me a cuddle. No. <laughs> Good morning, taxi driver. Good morning. I've oh. just spotted your boots, which are, they look very much like they've been inspired by I don't know. someone I know. By you? Yes, yes. by me. <laughs> I do pay attention. But unlike yours, mine were three pounds from Primark. <laughs> Do you know what? It's not about how much they cost, it's how you wear it. Of course. Give and me I'm... a high five. I'm, yes. I'm rocking these. Oh, that's a nice pose. <laughs> okay, come on then. It has been a busy, busy old day. It's now exactly seven minutes past seven. And I have had my nails done i've had pedicure i have packed i have done loads of emails done loads of work simon's packed we've had our new sofa arrive so much has happened today but the most important thing of course is the packing so here it is minus the paint ignore the paint that's not coming with me uh here is my packed suitcase i just have a space here for my toiletries, which obviously I need to use tonight and tomorrow morning, and then they can go in there. And then yeah, I'm all packed. I've got my carry-on bag here. So I'm taking Sandy as my carry-on because it's actually a really bulky bag, and even if you pad it out with stuff, it's just really tricky to kind of fit in here. So I did have it there, but it just took up too much room and I couldn't fit the toiletries in. So I'm having to use that as my carry on. I was actually going to take my Saint Laurent tote bag, but never mind. She's very suitable to the warm climate we're going to. So I'm going to leave you guys here for this week. Of course, Simon and I are off to Florida first thing in the morning. So 
Our Florida content will be up in a few weeks, but we do have four videos for you guys, all uploaded, scheduled, ready to go on the usual Wednesdays and Sundays, so you won't be missing out on anything. And of course, if you wanna keep up with our Florida shenanigans, shall we say, in real time, then head over to my Insta stories for all the fun and games. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.